we know he's been struggling lately. Well, let me put it this way. Parents of a failing student say what? What? No, Peter, wait! Nope, too late. He said it. I'm marking it. Didn't get the woos. They're very smart. Asian. Maybe they didn't understand me. I don't know. The point is, Chris's grades aren't improving. And just yesterday, he caused a little ruckus in his history class. Alexander Hamilton was right! I just can't understand why he's doing so poorly. We here feel that the best solution is for Chris to attend something called vocational school. Yeah, you know what? Chris deserves a vocation. He's been working hard. He's doing great in school. No, vocational school is where less academically capable students learn a trade. Don't you have to be Italian to go to one of those schools? Uh, there will be plenty of those jokes later in the episode. Now, won't vocational school limit Chris's options down the road? Oh, hardly. He'll have a wide range of career options, such as the following. <laughs> Those are three terrible options. Parents who are okay with this say what? What? Gotcha. That one's on you, Lois. Why, Meg, don't you look pretty today? Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? The birthday boy was premature, so he looks like a 12-inch tall Rachel Dratch. Why can't you do it, Mom? Ugh, I can't take another party with that trio of judgy sitcom moms. Oh, hi, Lois. Gosh, I just love how you always look so comfortable. I know. Are those pajamas? And I'm the black one for unrealistic diversity. <laughs> I can't believe I have to go to vocational school. Does this mean I'm a failure? No, sweetie, it means that we're failures. You know, I'm always at a loss for words in these moments. Fred Sanford, you want to do the honors? Go get him, you big dummy! Um, your show went off the air 40 years ago, and you died 30 years ago, so... That phrase means very little to me. I know it's a big step, honey, but you can do it. That's right, Chris. This family's never shied away from a new challenge. Like when I was a spokesman for that perfume, Deschanel Number no. 5. Precious. Annoying. Twee. Hot, but not worth it. Probably a nightmare in person. Deschanel. The fragrance for when you want to smell like a 40-year-old toddler. Can I help you? Yes, I am here for my first day of vocational school. Right this way. All right, settle down, you yucks. We got a new student, Chris Griffin, so everybody give him an A. A! Look at that. Your first day and you got all A's. Come here, let me pinch your cheek. Got all A's. <laughs> You're expressing affection and dominance. Griffin, where's the uchi or squalata at the end? You Jewish? No. It true if you're Jewish, they cut your dong off with an axe? My uncle's Jewish. Friggin' mess, that guy. Hey, Chip Chop, it's 9.30. Let's start thinking lunch. We do a nice sit-down thing here. Little piccata, little veal. Rocco here learned to cook in the joint. Okay, everybody dirty up your hands. We'll eat in 10. Wow, this is way better than that barber school I went to where I couldn't stop pumping the chair. Just a bit off the top and shorter on the sides. We're just going to be pumping today. Mr. and Mrs. G, thanks so much for having us over for dinner. Oh, it's our pleasure. Chris has said so many nice things about you. Uh, maybe one or two of them are true. <laughs> Chris, tell your mom and dad about the story you wrote. 
Oh, I don't know. Chris, come on. Don't be shy. Okay. It's called the black duck. The black duck. You ever seen a black duck? I, I seen a brown duck, a yellow duck, a white duck with a green head. It has all kinds of ducks. This kid thinks of a black one. Come on, it's just a stupid story, guys. Hey, if it was such a stupid story, why would it have such a well-rounded protagonist? Uh, remember what I told you behind the garage? That you might be gay? What? No, no, I didn't say that. The, the, the imagination on this one. Black ducks, I'm gay. What's next? Ma Martians? L little green Martian people? Oh, Chris, I'm so happy you have so many wonderful new friends. He was very unpopular in high school. Oh, yeah, you know, he's strong, too. He takes care of a lot of stuff for us. Stuff? Yeah, he, he took care of one of our competitors. Mr. Firestone says hello. Ow, 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 stop it, stop it. Oh my God, Chris, that's silly, but it's still murder. Relax, that Michelin man had no family. He came from tires, Ma. Chris, there's something your father and I want to talk to you about. Uh, Chris? C Chris? Sorry, I only answer to Chrissy now. Fine. Chrissy? Yeah, Ma? Can you stop lifting your rusty weights while we talk to you? Chris, we're worried about you and your new friends. Pa, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. No, Peter, it's not okay. Chris, we don't want you in the mafia. Hey, I'm in waste management. Chris, you need to be back in high school where you belong, but Principal Shepard won't let you back in, and we don't know what to do. What do I need school for? Tony Danza never went to school, and he played a guy named Tony on four different TV shows. Lois, let me handle this. Chris, I'm going to say this in a way an Italian mechanic would understand. You're breaking your mother's heart. Ma! Why didn't you say so? Ma! I'll take care of it. What have you got there? A guy letting me back into school says, what? What? Damn it! Okay, see you on Monday. <laughs>